Good morning, everyone. This is Nathan from the Ticket to Travel. We are in Arunachal Pradesh, pretty much the hardest state to get in in India on the north east side at the China border. Um, it is day 25 today. And as sad as it is being here and editing videos, we have to get stuff done. And so we're getting some of the stuff done today. Later on, we'll go out. But right now, we're editing so that we can keep you up to date with what we're doing. So this video will be a behind the scenes at our procedures of making videos, the equipment we're using, and uh, who does what, and how we edit, etc. Stay with us. We have two cameras. Our Canon 7D with it's cat on top and the Hero 4 Silver GoPro with its little sausage muffler and dandy stick. In other videos we have more information on our equipment but having two cameras allows us to do things simultaneously and to be quick on the go. Having an interchangeable lens camera and a GoPro seems to be the best setup for travel vlogging. The GoPro is quick and discreet, and the interchangeable lens camera gets the cinematic shots. We use prime lenses and stick to them. That means they cannot zoom. Too much zoom makes for shaky shots, and as we do everything handheld, uh, that will be a problem, and we deal with a lot of shake anyways. But having a lens that uh, isn't too zoomed in, this is a 50 millimeter, our other is a 24 millimeter. For the 50 millimeter, it allows us to be discreet a little far away from people but able to get close to them but anything above that especially because this has a crop sensor will mean the, the the shots will be too shaky and hard to use. I take the lead in filming and making sure that we stay motivated coming up with new ideas and then following through. For daily videos we try to anticipate a main theme or a story that we'll have but it's hard to do as life happens and it's hard to anticipate what will happen and uh, as even if we knew what was going to happen we're still learning how to weave a story together and make things interesting for you. I'm generally in the shots more than Danica just because it's my responsibility to get the shots done and I generally have an idea of the story that we're trying to do but as Danica is much more fluent and photogenic than I we try to get her in the shots as much as possible. As you can see Danica in action, Danica is the leading editor, editor-in-chief of our videos I cannot be trusted with my editing. My lack of fluency and ability to say a sentence like a normal human being can make Danica's editing a real pain and she has to go through the edits of all the pauses in my speaking and edit them out. On the computer editing program. But we're still awkward in front of the camera. It takes time. A lot of time for us. When we're having trouble keeping positive, we try to imagine some of you on the other side of the camera who are rooting for us. After Danica completes the editing, I'm in charge of uploading to YouTube, putting in all the metadata, description, tags, title, everything good for SEO. If there's a bad job on that, that is due to me. I'm also in charge of dealing with rights disputes. If someone claims that we have violated our usage of others' music on our videos. Danica looks after most of the social media, but staying in touch on social media helps us to understand what our viewers want, enables us to give it to you and get better at what we're doing. We hope you enjoyed getting an inner look at what we're doing behind the scenes for our videos on YouTube. We hope you enjoy them all. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel. Please keep in touch with us as we do out of the ordinary things and out of the way places. Ta-ta.